So now we are moving to the isometric projection of the same lamina in the same positions. So what is the difference between isometric view and isometric projection? In isometric projection, it is a diminished to an amount of 81.6 percentage of the original dimension, right? That is isometric projection. But for EC, we are usually drawing isometric view with the taking the same scale. That is the difference between isometric view and isometric projection. Actually, in isometric projection, it, it will be visible or it, it can be seen as a 81.6 percentage diminished as a, of the original dimension. So, how can we draw the corresponding isometric projection from the orthographic view? I have told first we have to construct an isometric scale. So, how can we construct the isometric scale? We have explained in the previous video in the introduction to isometric view. So, with the help of that, we can draw the isometric scale. So, this is 15 degree, this is 45 degree that is isometric scale. This is the true length and this is the isometric length and if we have to convert this much distance to isometric scale, take that distance, draw a line parallel to this line so that we have obtained this much as the isometric length. You can see the isometric scale in your screen right now. So take the maximum dimension that will come in your uh, sketch and use that value in the horizontal as TP construct the isometric scale as explained in the isometric scale diagram. So now you can obtain the isometric value of any dimension within your diagram because you are taking the max you have taken the maximum dimension of your sketch as the baseline DP or the true length line DP. Okay. So you can see now a DP as the original length or true length and DA is the corresponding isometric length. So now measure the required dimension and mark it on the true length line DP as in the figure. Assume that point is 4. Through 4 draw a line parallel to PA to reach or to obtain 4 dash as shown in the figure in the isometric length line. Now you can measure D4 dash so that D4 dash will be your isometric length corresponding to the dimension D4 that you have taken from your diagram. Okay. But it is a tedious job because you have to take uh, all the dimensions, mark it on the isometric scale, uh, convert, mark it on the isometric scale and convert it into the isometric value and then uh, use that value you have to draw. The easiest method is, I have already told, uh, in a isometric scale, actual dimension is uh, diminished by 81.6 percentage, say 82 percentage. So, you can multiply, you can take all the values of your diagram multiply it with the point 0.826 uh, and that value you can use for drawing the isometric projection. So measure the value, multiply it with the point 0.826 uh, and then use that value to draw the isometric projection. Okay. So first we are going to plot the isometric uh, projection of the lamina which is placed on the ground. So in the previous view, uh, previous video, uh, in, in previously we, we have seen that uh, when it is placed on HP, it is uh, on XY plane so that uh, both the axes should be inclined at uh, 30 degree, 30 degree. So select, uh, draw a line, select a point as 1, draw two lines at an inclination of uh, 30 degree. Now you have to measure this value, measure that value multiply it with the point 0.826 and mark here so that we have obtained one then we can take this distance multiply that distance into point 0.826 now we obtain 3 now draw a line parallel to this one through this one draw a line parallel to this uh, isometric x axis to 3 so that uh, we have obtained 2 so that is obtained right See, all the dimensions you take, multiply it with the point 0.816, point 0.816 and then draw. Take this distance, multiply it with the point 0.826 so that you will get somewhere here. Take this distance, multiply with the point 0.826 so that you will get B. Take this distance, multiply with the point 0.826 so that E. Similarly, you will get D, C 
take this distance multiply with point 816 locate that point draw a line take this distance multiply with point 816 so that so that you will get o now connect all this this is the isometric projection of the lamina parallel to h then what about the parallel to vp draw the horizontal line mark a point as 1 draw the z axis draw the isometric x axis take this distance multiply the point 816 so that you will get a point it uh, that is uh, that is 4 1 similarly you can get 2 and 3 with the same method as explained before you will get b here c here sorry a here d e here d here c here connect for some will be obtained somewhere here so this is the isometric view sorry isometric yeah projection of the lamina parallel to it the same method you can draw the isometric view of the side plane also that also we can draw draw a horizontal line select this as one for the vertical line is the axis or the 30 degree y axis or 30 degree y axis this will be a here e c d c this is b so the important thing is make sure that uh, the every dimensions you are taking is multiplied with the point 816 so that the obtained pro projection will be 81.6 percentage diminished as that of original one so this is called isometric projection and the previous one is known as isometric view because for ec we are usually drawing isometric view because there is no need of any calculation or no need of any isometric scale okay so i hope all of you have understood this thank you